The Leap Science and Math School is an intervention school. It's a deliberate uh, attempt to cut across the expectations of low performance from children who live in townships. It is a program which we constructed to give young people at the age of about 13 to come through the grade 9, 10, 11, 12 program to prepare them to go to and through university. So discuss about the challenges that you guys face as the young person in the community. It was only when I started to coach sport uh, in the community of Langa, specifically in, in the mid to late um, 1980s, that I started to really understand some of the complexities of the young people who were father hungry and were looking for a lot more from me as a coach than, than I was ready to give. We work very, very hard uh, together with our children to deal with the issues of their feelings and their personal emotional growth as well as their cognitive development so that they can cope uh, in a university environment and go through beyond that to become productive citizens uh, and good family members. In those um, townships, there's a lot that affect them, like around, even before you even go to their homes, like teenage pregnancy, drinking, and unhealthy relationships. You find that maybe there's a lot of children in the home, so you don't get that attention that you want because the mother is not there, the father is not there, they're actually working. I wake up every day and just wake up and just prepare myself at six o'clock. I get ready to come to school, that energy and, and just feel alive. And at five to seven, I walk to the bus stop of a fish. The bus takes me there and yeah, I get to school. This is where I find my myself. It's not a school, it's a home. That's the way I can express it. I have mothers, fathers, I have sisters, brothers that I connect with, I bond with. Once you're in LEAP, you're, you're in a family and it's, an, it's the extended family that creates the emotional safety for us then to walk the journeys, make the mistakes, expect the mistakes, but learn from the mistakes once we've admitted them. On my previous schools, um, we don't get the chance of students bonding with the teachers because there's sort of space between students and, and teachers there. But here, there's no space at all. So you get to be involved with the kids. You get to know like their families. You get to know like where they live. And you build relationships with the kids. It's where if I have a problem, it's where I get relieved. It's where I grow inside. It's where I become inner me. It's where I find Uyonela. Who is she? How's she doing? So the current doesn't change when you connect your resistors in series. The real gift that we have uh, with the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation's support is that we've been able to increase our capacity to grow and uh, explore the idea of replication and scaling. The reason for the uh, growth plan is really to show that this is a model that can work in any given context and that it's the methodology and the expectations that are really the, the fundamentals of the model. With the assistance of Leap from grade 10, I think that was a good foundation that prepared me to go to University of the Western Cape. And they could give us the opportunities to go and shadow some big companies like Coronation Fund Managers and Heritage Collection at that time, in which in township schools won't get. So we have UCT graduates, we have University of Western Cape graduates, and we have the Cape Peninsula University of Technology graduates. But for me, the great visible reward of this work is that 75% of our children who've left the school are still studying in universities. 10% of our students have chosen to become teachers. And we run an internship program at LEAP, which allows them to be distance learners through, uh, through UNISA, and at the same time embedded and learning in the classrooms of LEAP as the first um, graduates of that program start to emerge uh, I'm extremely excited by the impact that they're going to have on the educational landscape of South Africa. I'm starting to become a teacher because of what I have learned from LIB and I want to pass that on to the generation that is coming because I feel that LIB is, is going to help us in, in, in actually developing people that can actually think out of the box. And so schools like the LIB Science and Math School are going to show that the assumptions that are made around what children can do and what a society can expect from children are completely unfounded and that we need to shift our expectations completely.